वसुदेवसुदम देव गंसानूरमर्दनम देवगी परमानंदम कृष्ण वंदे जगद्गु We'll start with an incident from Ramana Maharishi's life. In the presence of Ramana Maharishi, every day they used to sing some songs. There is a song, Ramana Sadguru, it means praising Ramana Maharishi. So when the song is sung, he himself will sing along with the devotees. Not only he will be listening, sitting and enjoying, he will be singing with the devotees. Somebody asks him, what is this? You are an enlightened person, you yourself sing your own name. You also sing Ramana Sadguru, Ramana Sadguru. What do you mean by this? Bhagavan says, fool, why are you reducing Ramana to just the six feet body? Why are you reducing Ramana to the six feet body. Deep thing, very subtle thing, difficult to understand. He says, as you are all seeing this body from away, same way I am also seeing this body. For you, the Ramana is somebody. For me also, the Ramana is somebody. I am not associating myself with this name and form. That is the reason. Just like you all can enjoy this name, I can also enjoy. Because I have not associated myself with this form. I tell you, an egoistic person, at least in public, will never show that he enjoys. Because if he shows, people will say that he is egoistic. Egoistic man will make others praise him, will never be open. Here, Raman Maharishi is totally open and he is straight. He says, nah, just like you enjoy, I also enjoy this name, enjoy this form because I don't feel this is me. I don't feel associated with it. It is just getting repeated. One more incident. One of his disciples writes Ramana Puranam, means the Stotra of Raman Maharishi. He wrote few lines and somehow he was not able to write. The writer's block, they say author's block or <laughs> writer's block. So he just, he just brings the paper and puts it at the feet of the master and says, Bhagavan, I am not able to write. Bhagavan says, all right, you go. Let us see tomorrow. Tomorrow when the author comes back and sees, his name is Murugana. When he comes back, he sees that complete poetic poem is completed. Bhagavan himself has wrote and completed. 300 lines he himself wrote and completed the whole poem. He was surprised. Bhagavan himself wrote about himself. His own stotra written by himself. Then when he published, when it came out as a book, that author, he put a small footnote from this line, Bhagavan himself wrote, just so that the devotees will be aware that he himself, his, his own words. The book first copy was taken to Bhagavan. Bhagavan just sees the book and says, and he sees that footnote, from this line Bhagavan himself wrote. Then he turns to the disciple and asks, Oh, the other lines are written by you. <laughs> he asks, Oh, the other lines are all written by you. Only a man who has disappeared into the divine consciousness can write these poems. Bhagavan says, when you wrote all these things, it is me who wrote through you. 
you cannot sing about me you cannot write about me what do you know about me unless i express myself through you you cannot know anything about me in bhagavata krishna himself sings just like here how he says i am bhutanam ishwarobi i am the lord here he says beautifully this word is such a beautiful word bhutanam ishwarobi i am the lord of all living beings yes mere boy from brindavan and a small young cowherd boy from brindavan you see you should not look at krishna from this time you should understand the whole scene when it was done when it is repeated see now because of time we accepted krishna as god but this is said when he was alive when he is alive people did not accept him as a god hardly few people realized that he is god when rama is rama was walking on the planet earth only sabda rishis know he is an incarnation nobody else knows same way when krishna was alive <laughs> at least rama lived a little decent life so <laughs> this little easy for people to realize but krishna lived such an ecstatic life is very difficult to realize krishna for a social intellectual person or a so called religious person very difficult to realize krishna very difficult to understand krishna <coughs> but he says bhutanam ishwarobi i am the lord of all living entities naturally it will be difficult for them to understand it will be very difficult for people to understand somebody asks him why are you speaking about yourself why are you expressing your glory then bhagwan says if i don't tell about me you can never understand about me unless i reveal you can never realize unless i express you can never understand just out of my compassion i express the truth i express myself it is like you are going somewhere you see a traffic jam in the road you know one of your friend is ahead of you in the same road if you ring up and ask him how do you feel in that place is there any traffic jam can i come in the same road or should i take some other road will he not have a simple basic courtesy to guide you he will surely have a basic courtesy he will tell you no no this route is okay you come in 10 minutes everything will become all right in this area there is no traffic some instruction he will give you he will guide you with the same basic courtesy krishna is revealing his truth towards you he is revealing his truth to all of us he is revealing his truth to us a simple basic courtesy of helping the fellow travelers here when he says i am god i am the ultimate he says there is a possibility when i can achieve why not you here he says he shows the possibility he gives us the courage he encourages us when i can achieve why not you it's like a seed is always afraid of breaking always feels if i break if tree doesn't happen what will happen i'll die but the tree says unless you open i cannot happen unless the seed opens tree cannot happen seed is waiting seed says no 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 let the tree happen then i will open 
But the tree says, no, no. First you have to open only then I can happen. The problem between the tree and the seed continues, continues, continues. Somebody is necessary to give little courage to the seed. The seed which was seed once and now which has become tree. One tree comes and says, Oh seed, don't worry, open. I was also a seed. I opened, today I became tree. Be courageous, don't worry. You will never be perished. Open. Just like me, you will also become tree. How? The tree gives the courage to the seed. Same way, Krishna gives courage to us. You can also become God, like me. You can also experience the truth, like me. When he says, I am the ultimate, he expresses the possibility. He shows us the possibility. He again and again reminds our potentiality. He inspires us to enter into the same consciousness. He inspires us to experience the same bliss. He shows us the way or the truth which we need to experience. When Krishna reveals his truth, be very clear, he is not egoistic. He is expressing his truth out of he is expressing his true nature out of simple basic courtesy to fellow travelers. How the senior tree is encouraging the junior seed to open up and become a tree. The tree is an assurance for the seed. It says, don't worry, I have become tree. You can also become like me. You don't have to feel you will disappear. It is assurance. That is why again and again I tell you, when Krishna says, I am God, he means you are God. When he says, I am God, he means you are God. He gives you the courage. He encourages you to enter into the same experience. And one more thing we need to understand. As I was telling you, Raman Maharshi says, why do you reduce Ramana into the six feet body? <coughs> Ramana is far more superior, far more higher than the six feet body. When enlightened masters say, I, they don't have any meaning behind that I. Only the divinity speaks. For a normal man, when he says the word God, it is just a word, there is no meaning behind it. At the most, some imagination about God, that's all. There is no solid meaning behind that word. For example, when you say God, the word has no meaning. It is just mere empty word, supported by some imagination. But when you say I, you have a solid meaning for it. You have solid meaning. When you say I, you know clearly what you mean. But when you say God, you don't know what you mean. The emotion or the understanding is not supported. The word is not supported by the emotion or understanding or experience. But with enlightened people, when they say God, it is solid experience and when they say I, it has no meaning. Somebody asked me, Master, can dead masters teach us? Can we relate with the masters who left the body? Like Paramam Sivananda, Mahavadar Babaji, all of them. One person came and asked me, if I pray to them, can they show me path? Can they show me the truth? I told them, be very clear, dead masters are not dead as you think. They are not dead. When they are alive, they are 
presence had a body. When they are dead, their presence has no body. That's all. Having a body or not having a body is no way going to affect their presence. They are available to you always. They are eternally available to you. All you need is, you just need to turn towards them. That's all. They are eternally available. When they are with the physical body, their presence has got physical body. When they are no more, their presence has no physical body. That's all. But they are available always. They are alive. When it comes to normal being, he leaves the soul. When it comes to masters, they leave the body. The very word is different. For a normal person, soul leaves. We say, the soul left or he leaves the soul. He dies. The life has left him. We say, for masters, they leave the body. So having a body or not having a body is no way connected to their presence. They are available to the planet Earth always. Always they are available to the whole humanity. I always tell people, it is very difficult to understand masters. Because when they have the body or not, when they don't have the body, both the time their presence is same. With intensity, if you go, even when they don't have the body, you will be able to relate with them. You can get the message. You will be able to talk to them. You will be able to relate with them. When you don't have int intensity, sincerity, even if you meet the living master, you will miss him. With sincerity, even with the dead master, you will be able to have the truth. You will be able to achieve it. Without sincerity, even with the living master, you will miss it. You will miss it. Sometime you will miss it. <laughs> Understand? He says, I am the lord of all the entities, but I still appear in every millennium in my original transcendental form. Sambhavami Atma Mayaya Taking my own Maya because of my Maya I assume the body and come down. I assume the body and incarnate myself. He means he happens on the planet Earth again and again in so many forms to guide the people. But Again and again, we miss him. We are all conquerors of Buddha, conquerors of Krishna. We have conquered Ramakrishna. That is why we are here again on the planet Earth. Please be very clear. We conquer them. We conquer Ramana Maharishi. We conquer Ramakrishna. Even they can't do anything to us. That is why again and again, we are here. We are here, again and again we miss them. That is why again and again he has to come down. He has to come down again and again to the planet Earth to lift us, to show us the way, to guide us. The next statement. I can say this one sloka if it is understood, not only the whole Gita, all the spiritual scriptures can be realized. Here he declares, Yada yada hi dharmasya klanir bhavati bharata abhyuddhanam adharmasya tadatmanam srujamyaham Whenever and wherever there is a decline in religious practice, there is a decline in a spiritual dharma. There is a decline in the spiritual science. O Bharata, predominant race of negativity happens. At that time, 
I descend myself. Whenever there is a decline in positive consciousness, whenever there is a predominant rise in a collective negativity, again and again, at that time, I descend myself. There is one more sloka which we need to understand. We will study about this sloka together. Next, Paritranaya sadhunam Vinasaya chadushkritam Dharma samstavanartaya Sambhavami yuke yuke To deliver the pious and to annihilate the miscreants as well as to re-establish the principles of spirituality, the eternal consciousness, I myself appear dharma samsthabhanarthaya to establish the dharma of the eternal consciousness, science of the eternal bliss, I myself appear millennium after millennium. Sambhavami yuke yuke. Only a master like Krishna can declare the truth so clearly. Dear Krishna says, I come down again and again. He keeps the whole thing open for future. He keeps the generation of enlightened masters for future the possibility of enlightenment for future. He keeps the whole science open for the whole future. Only a courageous man like Krishna can declare this truth. People come and ask me, Swamiji, are there, are there many more enlightened masters in the planet Earth? I tell them, surely, there are hundreds of enlightened masters. Don't think I am the only one there are hundreds, hundreds and hundreds, I can say even thousands, thousands of masters are available. Only a courageous man can declare the truth as it is. If you are on the business, you cannot accept there are some more shops in your city. <laughs> if you are on any business, you cannot give the address of some more shops in, in the city. Only if you are honest, you can declare, yes, there are so many things available. There are so many things available. Again and again people ask me this question. Swamiji, if I take initiation from you, can I go to other masters? I tell them, not only you can go, I encourage you should go. <coughs> Pluck flowers from all the beautiful garden and make a beautiful bouquet. Pluck flowers from all the garden and make a beautiful bouquet for yourself. And your ego is such, even if thousands of people beat, it will not die. How can you expect it to die by one person? How can you expect it, the ego to die by one blow? So go wherever it is possible <coughs> and learn the best things. Pluck flowers from all the gardens and make a beautiful bouquet for yourself. Only a Krishna, a courageous person, can declare the truth. Sambhavami yuke yuke means he keeps the possibility open for the next generation. He keeps the possibility of enlightenment open for the planet Earth. This one, this one single idea, if it is understood, Straight away, you will be liberated, enlightened. He says, the next sloka, Janma karma chame divyam, Yevam yoveti tatpataha, Tyakpa degam punar janma, Naidi mame di sorjuna. Translation goes, One who knows the transcendental nature of my appearance and activities, does not upon leaving the body take his birth again in this material world by, but attains 
the eternal bliss my nature o arjuna is a very strange <laughs> statement he says one who who understands the nature of my birth and death will be liberated from his birth and death cycle how can it be he says if you understand my transcendental nature of birthlessness and deathlessness just now he said i am birthless and deathless ajobi i am birthless just now he says ajobi san avyayatma bhutanam ishvaro bi san he says i am birthless and deathless now he says if you understand the truth of my transcendental nature of appearance and activities once you leave the body you will not take birth and death if you understand my transcendental nature you will also achieve the same transcendental nature if you understand that you will also realize you also don't take the body if you understand i am liberated you will realize you are also liberated 